have another question for you. Uh, Andrew Gillum is up. Uh, gone around the state saying that he's pro-Israel, but he's also on record opposing the move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem of the U.S. Embassy, and he also was opposed to recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Can you um, round that circle as far as still being pro-Israel but not recognizing Israel or Jerusalem as Israel's capital? Fantastic. I'm glad you asked. So since I'm the state representative who did two things in the legislature, one, I was the representative who filed and sponsored the anti-BDS bill. Uh, that was my bill in the House, and I'm the representative who actually sponsored the resolution supporting the federal government's action uh, moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Uh, I'm actually a pretty good uh, authority on this. So you're at odds with the uh, oh, no. you're at odds with the mayor then. Uh, we are not at odds. Okay, because I actually think, at the end of the day, Andrew Gillum, first of all, uh, is uh, supportive of, uh, of the anti-BDS legislation. I didn't ask about the BDS well, legislation. I'm, I'm asking about the embassy no, move I'm and, you, and the recognition, I'm, because he is on record. He is on record opposing the embassy move. I, I'm giving you a full recitation, because both of these issues have come up, and they've come up together. So I'm giving you a full recitation. So first, he's supportive of the anti-BDS legislation, because they brought that up several times. Even, even though the Dream Defenders, oh, who he's very close with, his good friend the, Philip Agnew, his good friend Philip Agnew, is a firm supporter of BDS, and he has endorsed the Dream Defenders. The B uh, Dream Defenders have endorsed him. I also want to give a shout out to you, Miss Floyd, and to the Dream Defenders. This, this issue's come up several times, as if like Philip Agnew is his godfather. Okay, like th this idea, like you can't have friends that you disagree with. We came here to Palestine to stand in love and revolutionary struggle with our brothers and sisters. I have friends. I don't agree with them on everything. I have. By the way, I have. Oh, I have Republican friends. I'm not allowed to have Republican friends because, by the way, I have Republican friends that I don't agree with. Okay, back to the so back, back to back, opposing back, the embassy so, move. So back on. to opposing the so, embassy so move. So I, I support uh, moving the embassy to Jerusalem. But uh, but uh, Andrew no, Gillum I, is I, opposed I, to I, it. I, I got it. I'm, I'm going there. Okay, don't don't worry. <laughs> so 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 uh, Mayor Gillum doesn't doesn't support it. He he believes that ultimately moving the embassy at that time was not the right time because he believes that should have been part of negotiations. That's fine. But, like hold on. Like-minded people can disagree on tactics. I believe that it was the time to move the embassy. That's okay. That doesn't mean he's anti-Israel. This idea, this idea that because he didn't believe that that was the time to move it, that he's anti-Israel. By the way, Bill Clinton didn't move it. Is Bill Clinton anti-Israel? Uh, I'm not, I won't go into that. How well, about... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are the rules different with Bill Clinton? Why are they different Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton... Bill Clinton, Clinton did not oppose it. Promised to move it, didn't move it. So Bill Clinton's anti-Israel. No. Well, but, but that, Andrew Gillum opposed why it. Why are the rules different? Andrew Gillum, why, why can't are the you answer the question? I answered you. No, you're not. Why are the you're changing the words of the no, question. No, no, no. Why you are, the are rules, changing the words why of the, the question. Why are the different for Andrew than they are for Bill Clinton? So Bill Clinton is anti-Israel. I didn't say Bill Clinton is anti-Israel. Andrew Gillum is on record opposing the Jerusalem move less than 12 months ago. He opposed recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital okay. less than 12 months ago. Okay. How do you round the circle and reconcile being pro-Israel when you are opposed to recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital? Because I and don't bring Bill Clinton into it. Oh, because I believe you can be pro-Israel without saying that you were for moving the embassy at that point in time. Recognizing it as a capital he was opposed hold to on, on hold record. On, hold, hold, hold on, let me explain to you. That is it's not true. He's put out statements saying... I've listened to the audio with my own ears. Excuse me. Go go to the website. If you go to the website, the website specifically says that he's for recognizing Jerusalem as their capital. He just, dis he just disagreed with moving the embassy at that point He was time. opposed to that the recognition. He said that it caused excessive go bloodshed. Go to the website. Go to the audio yeah, recording. Website, I listened yeah, to it this go, week. Go, go to the website. Um, um, and at the hands of... Uh, this administration, we now have even incited more violence by recognizing um, uh, Jerusalem to be the capital and also to locate the United States embassy there. Again, just adding uh, more fuel to the fire. Um, I think it was a provocation by the president. So let me ask you, how can you round the circle and be pro-Israel and not recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital? Because you can be both. You, can be you cannot. Okay, so you're saying you can say you cannot recognize he, Jerusalem as Israel's capital, but, but still true. be pro-Israel. That's not true. I'm asking a question. He has I'm asking a question. He has recognized Israel as Jerusalem's capital. That he opposed it. That is not true. It he, is true. It is not true. We now have even incited more violence by recognizing 
um, uh, Jerusalem to be the capital and also to locate the United States embassy there. How can you, okay, sure let me ask you this. It, it, How can you oppose moving the embassy to Jerusalem and call yourself pro-Israel? Okay. How can you affiliate wait. with the Dream Defenders and call yourself pro-Israel? Who says he's affiliating with the Dream Defenders on but that issue? On that issue. <laughs> on that issue. Who says he's affiliating with them on that issue? They're on that issue, really? They have a multitude right, right. of issues. Okay. 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 It was good work. It was a nice try. Nice try? It was. You're a liar, man. I'm not a liar. In the blue I'm, corner. I'm, I'm not a liar. No, you're not a truth teller. What do you mean I'm not a truth teller? You can't say that the guy did not oppose Russia moving the, the uh, I'm sorry, you cannot say that he did not oppose recognizing Jerusalem. I listened to the audio tape. He's recognized it. I li listened to the audio tape. All right, you know what? Forget it. It was nice meeting you. I'm going to put this together with the audio tape of it. It'll make a nice video. We now have even incited more violence by recognizing um, uh, Jerusalem to be the capital. <laughs> aye, aye, aye.